The most talked about race in the state looks to be one that replaces U.S. Representative Ben Ray Lujan. So the current District 3 House member is now running for U.S. Senate. New on 7 tonight, reporter Brandon Evans looks at who is raising the most money in that District 3 race. The money's always an issue in any type of political campaign because you need to fund your messaging. Marco Cerna has currently raised the third most of these CD3 candidates with more than half a million dollars. Teresa Lair Fernandez is second with roughly 680000 Both trail Valerie Plame, who has raised more than $1.1 million so far. Political analyst Brian Sanderoff says this comes as no surprise. She's the only one who has some national name recognition. The others are more locally oriented. And so um, she's able to raise quite a bit of money on uh, websites like ActBlue for people who know her from all over the nation. But our political expert says dollars are different than votes. The candidates who raise the most money typically do have an advantage. There's no doubt about that, but it's no guarantee of victory. Regardless of who wins the seat, Cerna says replacing Ben Ray Lujan is no easy task. They are very large shoes to fill, uh, and I, I applaud him and what he's been able to accomplish, uh, especially at the national level. Sandroff says we should expect to start seeing TV ads in the CD3 race very soon. Reporting, Brandon Evans, KWT Action 7 News.